Good things, Delmarva. Welcome back. Well, it's a tradition that many on the shore look forward to. It's a presentation of rock and roll revival from the students at James M. Bennett High School. And it's always such a wonderful performance. I'm joined this morning by music director Alex Worson and choreographer Katie Nuttall. Welcome, guys. Welcome Thank you. back. Good morning. Thank you. you guys are like each year. It's fun to have you here. This, we were just talking, is a huge <laughs> deal. Like, I was, I went last year, and it's not just... A high school production. I mean, it, it, it's a production and it's done so well. How are things going this year in terms of preparation and getting ready? We're in, it's, it's great and it is a huge production. We're full swing now, seven days a week we're rehearsing. Oh, wow. A couple hours at least on weekends we're in there eight hours some days from ten to five, nine to five. And it shows at the end of all of that. Now, students look forward to it, though. I mean, in terms of auditions, you are the choreographer. I, do you, I'm sure you get some who, this is my big chance. These lessons since age three oh, absolutely. are about to pay off. All of their dance lessons, singing lessons, band lessons are paying off for this performance. And so they go through an audition process mm -hmm. in October, and of course we had to weed some out. Right. But um, it definitely pays off, and they look forward to it every year, and the dedication they put to it is amazing to see. So for people who have not seen it and are thinking, rock and roll revival, sounds like there's music right. and musicians <laughs> and yeah, it singing. Is, it's, and it's not a, it's more of a review than a show mm -hmm. as far as there's no script or right. real underlying. We do have a theme, which this year is paint by numbers, so okay. all the songs mention a color or a number, so one is the loneliest number, or there's okay. a lot of songs with blue in the title. Um, and it's music from Patsy Cline to this wow. year we're doing Guns N' Roses. So I love them. A uh, <laughs> little, little bit of everything from, it just has to be it's a flexible time, but 15, 20 years old, we try to say, is the deadline, okay. which now puts us into the 90s, which is crazy. <laughs> it started out as oldies, and now music I grew up with right. is falling it's into the like category. What? <laughs> what about the kids and the, and the music? Because it's still, they are still, you know, 80s babies, 90s babies. Right, 90s, 90s babies, babies yeah. right. So do they come in thinking, Dude, what is this song? I've right, never a lot heard of it. Sometimes this. they do. And then sometimes you'll get some that know the song and it ends up being their favorite song yeah. at the end of February. So awesome. Right. For me, I grew up with my parents took over the show and they were musicians full time. Mm -hmm. So I grew up listening to I loved Elvis when I was in elementary yeah. school. I listened to all the doo wop stuff. Blue Moon. So Blue Moon, oh, that's yeah. what's in there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and I always assumed everybody knew this music, <laughs> right? Everybody knows it, Elvis, the, right? The oldies and all the Beatles stuff and more obscure stuff too. But a lot of these kids come in and they've never heard Brown Eyed Girl, which no. how can you not know Brown Eyed Girl? But really? then they leave loving all these songs that they <laughs> There's a reason they were big once, so it's it's a cool. It's kind of like a little history lesson for a lot of the, the students born in the '90s that wow. whose parents weren't even alive when some of these songs were out. <laughs> oh. And I have older parents, so I was fortunate enough to grow up with this oh, music. Some good but. music. So do they? They come in obviously with a certain um, talent level, and do you kind of coach them through what what you're hoping? for it to be? Yeah, so like I said, they all go through an audition process mm -hmm. and then we pick and choose the songs that we feel comfortable that they can perform on okay. stage. And with their ability, we put them with a song and they're able to execute that. Now what's this? We got a, uh, this was from some pictures from <laughs> shows in the past. Yep. This is like a chorus group singing here. A That's one of the guys. We usually have a, a number of all the guys and okay. a number, like a girl band section. Oh, nice. or so like the the old 50s, 60s girl groups and stuff like that. So is that Billie Holiday? What's going on here? That was. I know we didn't talk I about. I can't remember it, what so song that yeah, is, but I remember it that. It was an amazing song. An amazing <laughs> song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an amazing song. So all the dancers, all the singers, all the band is all students. Um, yeah. I play guitar on a couple th songs, and some of the directors will do a little song sometimes, but it's all Bennett students. Okay, all the students. I mean, everything students are doing it. Yeah. Students no are tracks. People ask right. every People year when they're leaving, they're like, that's really great, but how many songs were with pre-recorded <laughs> right. music? And none, none, zero. 
Yes. Okay, so to that end, when are the big show dates and times? The show dates are February 6th, 7th, and 8th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then February 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, with the, which is the following Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. And so what time are the weeknight shows starting? Um, the weeknight shows are at 7 o'clock, and then we always have our matinee at 2 on the Sundays. Okay, and if you did the, say that weekend or the 6th, but it could be a great date night for Valentine's. It is, you, yeah. We usually fall know. on Valentine's Day. This week, it's kind of, this year, it's kind of pushed, but you can still yeah. make it a Valentine's Day. You they usually sell roses and candy that weekend. And <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice. And so where can people, are the pre ticket sales, or you get tickets the night of the show? We actually have sales on line for the first time this year oh, which good. if you contact if you go to the Facebook page rock roll no and rock roll revival there's a link there okay um, and then the Bank of Del Marva on Eastern Shore Drive you can actually get hard copy tickets as okay. well as when we're rehearsing at night seven o'clock there's usually someone around 630 there at the auditorium at Bennett selling tickets awesome. all right so if you've not been to a production you really want to get in on the rock and roll revival it's such a great review of students talent and just amazing. sheer talent with you high know. schools doing high schoolers doing good things exactly yeah. so thank you alex and katie for being with us thank this you. morning thank you. and talking about it i can't Our wait pleasure. till this year's show all right thanks guys stick around we still have more good things del marva after the break we'll be right back <laughs>